versus PC, all our stuff wars are stupid. First off, when it all comes down to it, they're still the same freaking game. Like, for example, Mass Effect. Everyone knows about the game, right? The first one was only on PC and 360, and then, sure, they ported it to PC, but when it came down to it, it's the same freaking game, except it's on a different system. Second off, they're all just stupid. Everyone just argues over each other because of where they play their games. Um, I don't really care, and nobody really cares about where you play your games. You're still playing the same game when it boils down to it. You're still playing Mass Effect. You're still getting the same game. You're still playing as Commander Shepard. You can still customize your Shepard. You can still make decisions and stuff. It's not like they took the game name and changed it like with some things. It's the same game. Big deal. Big whoopee deal. You play it in HD with... No, more than HD with 9 million times 6969 resolution or some crap like that. I mean, you still get... On consoles, they still sometimes give you free DLC, and there's still sales on consoles, too. You can go to when the game stores have sales, you can go there, and platinum hits. I mean, sure. And then you got PCs, where they have Steam sales and stuff. It doesn't matter, you're still getting the games cheap anyway. I mean, nobody cares that you get your games cheap. You're still getting your freaking games. It's still the same game in the end. Whoopie doo. You're still playing a freaking game. Cool, you have, you play your games with a mouse and a keyboard. Whoopie big deal. Nobody cares. Cool, your system of choice has light up lights. Cool, your system of choice has a bunch of it turns on and makes a cool beep sound when you push the power button. Cool. Nobody cares. Okay. I've gotten that point out of the way. Another thing I've seen people argue about is which game systems are better, and then they sound like presidential debates, as in, oh, you're so, your system's so dumb. Your, your system is like so dumb because you gotta pay for a line. Your system's so dumb because they take features away. Your system's so dumb because you have to pay $5,000 a year to upgrade it. Your system's so dumb because when you play a game, it just lags. Yeah, I get it. Your systems always suck. Every system sucks. It's a big freaking whoopie doo deal. And then you've got um, games are console exclusive, like me. Here's what I think about this, too. Here's what I also think. I also think that I'll I personally don't care about these stupid console wars of who you're you're stupid. Not only you're playing the same freaking game, like I said, but exclusive games. This game is only on 360. I can't play this game on my PS3. I can't play this game in this PC. I have to have a 360 to play this game, and you know what? Big freaking deal. Looky here. I have a bunch of gaming systems too, and I personally don't care about which system is better. I have a PS3, 360, original Xbox currently hooked up, and also a Sega Saturn, and I even have in storage a few other systems like a PS2, and Looky here. I don't care about these stupid gaming wars. They're all freaking stupid in the end. In the end, it's still a video game. And another thing. What I also hate are people who are like, I'm always right. Like, in console flame wars, these are so common. I'm better than you because I am myself. I mean, the e other systems are stupid. Give them reasoning that they're on, and then they're like, oh no, I'm just owning you with my own age. And then there's so many of these people on YouTube who are like that. I mean, I've seen so many people like that, and then they're like, and then they just block you if you disagree, and then, seriously, everyone on YouTube is just stupid, and then you've got people throwing Call of Duty into everything. Like, what's Call of Duty have to do with anything? Um, Call of Duty is a freaking game. So what, if you don't like it, don't play it. It's as simple as that. And one more thing I'd like to bring up. DLC, because DLC running happens to be the cool topic of the day. It's a freaking add-on to your game. I mean, sure, they're going to make DLC for games, and 
that's so that you play the game longer and back then you'd pay um so much for a game like I'm gonna pay like 20 30 bucks for this game or something you'd buy it and then you'd play it so long and you know what would happen you'd play it and then you'd wear it would wear off the peel would wear off and then this game would sit at a GameStop I know with like GameStop remember Half-Life 2 remember that game before GameStop ditched Xbox original games, those games were piled sky high at GameStop. Same with some of the PS2 games that were really popular and hyped up. And then people just stopped buying them after a while because that's what they did before DLC. And DLC basically lets the companies expand the lifetime of the games, in my opinion. This is all my opinion. Keep this in mind. Now, I know there are some companies that abuse it, such as Capcom. Capcom... I think they should just stop releasing $40 DLC packs as full stuff and should just start releasing it for like 10 bucks or a better price, but I'm not a Capcom fanboy, so I've never really played a Capcom game that's recent. I mean, I've played Street Fighter 4, but I just haven't really played it that much, so who cares? Um, I probably don't know as much. If somebody else knows more about this enlighten me because honestly I just think it's a ripoff though I mean me personally it's my own money I can throw money out the window if I want to I can set money on fire I can light money on fire and you know what I don't care I could probably I only buy DLC packs if they're useful like the Call of Duty Black Ops zombie packs I think I think a lot of people bought them just for the zombie maps I mean who didn't like the resurrection pack I mean five maps for just 15 bucks that were zombie maps I think we all played them a lot especially if you never played World at War and then one last thing I think I'd like to bring up before um, before DLC became common another thing that was kind of stupid was the fact that they just release um, they release full priced they'd actually released full price DLC packs, which are basically called expansion packs. Yeah, that's what they were called, sorry. They were expensive sometimes, 40, 50 bucks, and they basically felt like a bunch of DLC packs slapped together, and you had to pay more for it. Actually, I think DLC is kind of good in the end because it allows people to do more of their game. I mean, look at it from a developer point of view. They like it a lot more. Not only because they get more money, but because people play their game longer. Okay, I'm done with this rant for now, but thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and yeah, I think console wars are just stupid.